has a painting that one of our students did at Heritage that was from the Gifts of Gold and it was on display at the United Arts Council. Because, because of this student's artwork with our art teacher, Mrs. Weiss, his writing has improved because of art. Now these aren't alternative facts, this isn't fake news, this is real. Last but not least, Mr. Brodnick. Physical education improves physical fitness, improves skill and motor skills development, provides regular healthful physical activity, teaches self-discipline, facilitates development of student responsibility for health and fitness. I will tell you, last year, Mr. Brodnick, I had the pleasure, pulled me out of the hallway, and he said, my son is throwing the baseball better. I was a little jealous, because he's doing it with him and not his dad. But hey, he's getting better. A couple other facts real quick. Our superintendent, Mr. Jim Merrill, told the board that the state has provided a cumulative increase of $131 million towards reducing class sizes statewide since 2011-2012 but also reduced funding by $286 million in other teacher allotments in 2013-14. It's a net loss of $155 million. It's simple math. That's the problem that the senators are not disclosing. This is what's happening with David, Senator David Curtis. In closing, I challenge you, the NCAA can put pressure and create a sense of urgency for House Bill 2 compromise and everything else aren't our teachers more importantly our kids just as if not more important Can everybody see me? <laughs> Not very high up. So uh, I am a short Jewish guy. Uh, I was born in North Carolina though. I am originally from here, uh, born in Chatham County. Jewish guy born on a pig farm, if you can figure that out. I am also a teacher. I have been a teacher for 17 years. And uh, I spent my spring break looking for work. I have been applying for jobs uh, outside of education because if HB 13 doesn't pass, I will be out of a job. So I really appreciate all of you being here uh, because you are fighting for me. And uh, together we are fighting for we're fighting for every child in the state. This bill will affect every child in the state. Because it's not just elementary schools, it's not just art teachers, it's not just PE teachers. These are things that our kids need, absolutely, but see, these cuts, and that's really what this is, these are cuts, will impact every district, and every district is right now scrambling to figure out what to do with less money. You know, we hear that a lot, doing more with less. I'm sure you've all heard that in your jobs. Your boss tells you, well, we just have to do more with less. The thing is, you can't do more with less. You can only do less with less. And if we have less teachers, our kids get less. Our kids get less art. Our kids get less enrichment. You know what? They still have to take PE. PE is a required thing by law. So that just means that your child's language arts teacher will also be your child's PE teacher. You hear that, kids? <laughs> yes, your social studies teacher will be making you do jumping jacks and push-ups. And we're not even going to have enough classrooms if this bill doesn't pass. Because when we put caps, and I support having smaller classes, definitely, I think that is a good thing. But if you don't fund it, if you don't give us any way to uh, if we can't afford class caps, then we end up with kids taking science in the gym. 
or maybe sitting in the cafeteria and reading uh, and, and doing worksheets. So, am I out of time? <laughs> so I will leave you with this. One man, Senator Chad Barefoot from Wake County, he is the one we need to take action. Barefoot needs to kick it out of committee. Can we all say that, Barefoot? Kick it out of committee. My name is Stone Hensley. I'm a fifth grader at Sycamore Creek Elementary School in Raleigh. I'm here to talk to you about how much I love our specials programs and how important I think they are. If this bill isn't passed, the arts and PE programs will be cut so the funding and space can go towards core classes. The government believes core classes like math and English are more important than arts and PE. I disagree. Albert Einstein once said, imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress, giving birth to evolution. Even though knowledge is very important, it can only apply to a little bit of the world, while imagination applies to the entire world. Our class can help us learn to use our imaginations to change the world. Art can even teach you about history and how to influence the rest of the world. Art classes can also teach us how to be creative. They teach us how to use the big ideas we have and how to bring our ideas into the world. And that's what makes us human. Everything we can make and create and everything we can share with people and cultures that are different from us. PE helps kids how to work as a team and help others. Teamwork is very important. It impacts the entire world and affects how people work at their jobs and with their families. Without teamwork, do you think we could have built the Statue of Liberty or the Great Wall of China? All our world famous monuments definitely couldn't have been possible without teamwork. That's why it's so important to teach kids how to work as a team. For example, think about zombies. Zombies have the ability to take over the world. They're basically immortal. So why haven't they? My guess is since they're working with mostly dead brains, they don't have the imagination or the teamwork mindset to do it. That's why humans still rule the earth. We do have the ability to work with one another and use our imaginations. By making music, you can influence the entire world and inspire people to make music of their own. It could have a domino effect. You can inspire hundreds of people to be artists, and those people could go on and inspire other people, and it could just keep spreading throughout the world. Speaking of inspiring people, speaking of inspiring people, I'm very proud of our school leaders and our teachers. I know it, ha it must have taken a lot of creativity and to fit in core classes and specials with the limited resources they have. But if this bill doesn't pass, they will be forced to devote all their resources to the core classes, and I don't think that's right. Our special programs inspire so many kids and teach them important life skills that help set them on the path of their life. I was inspired by artists like Monet. I want everyone at my school and in the world to have the power to inspire others and themselves in their own way. I know our special programs can help them teach them how to do that. When asked if I would speak today, my first thought was it's scary to talk in front of lots of people, but I can't think of anything that's more worth it than helping people understand how important the special programs are to all kids. Thank you.